We have a 25-year history of partnerships between the school districts, the community college, the university, the business community, everybody kind of pulling together uh, to create a strong foundation for highly successful pathways from pre-K through the university. And so dual credits arrival uh, was, I think, quite easy for us to encourage and nurture. Um, it was planted in a very fertile, fertile soil. And um, I think as a result of that, we were able to accelerate our adoption of and enthusiastic welcome for uh, dual credit in this region. We started about 15 years ago, right about 2000, 2001, uh, and we started with about 90 students and now we're serving just under 7,000 students through dual credit. Um, early College High Schools came just over a decade ago. We started uh, Mission Early College High School in 2006, a partnership between El Paso Community College, Socorro Independent School District, as well as the University of Texas at El Paso. I see a very bright and prosperous future of dual credit in this region based on the uh, cooperation, collaboration, as well as the high expectation that each of the partners has for the students that we serve. You know, from, from the district to the college and the university, all working in tandem to ensure that we provide an opportunity for these students to have college credit while they're still in high school. Those credits waive, the tuition and fees waive for those students in order to get a head start on the college process. What we see is, again, these students have to meet the assessment requirements. They have to prove college readiness while they're still in high school then taking the course and providing every opportunity for those students to be successful by raising the expectations of them. And what we continue to see is these students outperform every other segment, both at the college and the university with regards to success in higher education. So students who participate in dual credit transfer from the community college, just as they would transfer if they had attended classes at the community college. And the teachers who teach dual credit have the same credentials and expectations for quality and rigor that the community college establishes for its own faculty. So the community college plays that pivotal role. People who are innovators or who see themselves as, as leaders really need to think about the ways in which um, they can push this dual credit concept in new directions.